Okay, if we want to find the area of the plane 2x plus y plus z equals 6 in the first octant, which I've pictured here, um, we can use an integral to do that. And um, what we first need to do is solve for z so that I can think of this as a function, this plane as a function of x and y. If I do that, I get z equals uh, 6 minus 2x minus y. And then, uh, so, so I can call that f, f of x, y if I like. Okay, so z, f, same thing. Now, I, I want to use the appropriate ds here. Remember, ds represents an infinitesimally small patch of area on this plane pictured in red here. And when I can represent uh, the surface uh, given by f rectangularly, um, then the appropriate ds to use is the square root of 1 plus the partial with three s of f with respect to x squared plus the partial of f with respect to y squared dA. Okay, so basically this formula tells me then I need to find um, the derivative of z or f uh, with respect to x. So that turns out to be negative 2. The derivative of f with respect to y turns out to be, if you look, negative 1. So that ds in this particular case the area of an infinitesimally small patch uh, of uh, surface on, on the plane is the square root of 1 plus negative 2 squared, which is plus 4, plus negative 1 squared, plus 1. So we get the square root of, of 6. Okay. So our area, our, our, our integral that gives us area has this form double integral over r of uh, root 6 uh, dA. Oh, and I suppose technically I needed a dA up here as well. Okay, um, well, what the heck is r? Oh, well, okay, uh, we're just going to use our skills from the last chapter to get r. If you go back and look at the picture, r uh, is obtained by projecting the, the graph uh, in red the plane in red down to the xy plane, and we get a triangular region as you can see. Um, and in fact, the triangular region we get goes from 0 to 3 on the x and 0 to 6 on the y. 6, 3, 3. So this is our region R right here. Okay, so if we set up the usual order of differentials, dy dx then, this area integral becomes the integral, uh, uh, double integral, radical 6, okay, dy dx, oh, okay, uh, what does y run from? Well, if you think about it, uh, the equation of this line right here well, if you think about it, okay, this x value is 3, this y value is 6, so the slope must be negative 2, and the y-intercept is 6, so the equation of that line must be negative 2x plus 6, y equals mx plus b, negative 2x plus 6 in this case. And, okay, so if you look at our representative uh, vertical line segment, or rectangle, if you want to think of it that way, um, y goes from 0 to the line negative 2x plus 6. So 0 to negative 2x plus 6. Uh, okay, so we have our, our inner limits of integration, and then of course x just goes from 0 to 3. And if you want to evaluate this integral, uh, pull the radical 6 out front, and Okay, we have the integral over 0 to 3, evaluate the inner integral, get, um, well, 
you integrate, you get y evaluated from 0 to negative 2x plus 6, but that's just negative 2x plus 6. And then evaluate the remaining integral. Get the square root of 6. OK, what do we have? Um, we'll have, uh, let's see, just negative x squared plus 6x evaluated from 0 to 3, which gets you square root of 6 on the outside, negative 9 plus 18 inside the brackets. Or uh, let's see, 9 times radical 6. 9 times radical 6 is our answer. It represents the area of uh, the plane in the first octant, so the area that I've pictured in red here.